Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jody Hoynoski. I am Executive Director of Holstein Ident and Identification Services at Holstein USA. Uh, I've been with the company for uh, about 17 years now. I grew up on my family farm in Wisconsin uh, with registered cattle all my life and uh, really appreciate all of you folks being here today and tuning in online, uh, and especially our, our first panel of uh, producers using robotics firsthand. Uh, I'm delighted to be moderating our, our second shift panel with industry experts. The decision factors for, for automated, automated uh, milking systems and to help maybe uh, some of the audience here answer the question, are milking robots right for my farm? So for just 15 minutes or so, I'm going to talk about some of these ideas. Um, I'm not going to get down into the, into the finer details because of the time, but I'm going to stay here at a high level. Uh, but I hope that some of these um, items will uh, stimulate some discussion during the panel um, time. So uh, what I'm going to quickly cover here in the 15 minutes or so is um, kind of a snapshot of where we are today with AMS in the U.S. Um, external factors um, that can certainly play a role in the decision making that goes on with, uh, with robots. Internal factors, so um, considerations down on the farm level. And then wrap up with a few comments um, with uh, the voice of AMS farmers. So where are we today in the U.S.? So um, AMS started uh, here in North America in the early 2000s, so we're really quickly approaching 20 years of, uh, of milking robots. Um, and specifically here in the U.S. today, we're sitting around 3,500 uh, milking robots, um, and that would be uh, representative of all brands. And before you ask, because we always get asked that question almost right after, is how many cows is that? What percent of the U.S dairy population is that representing? That's about 2.5% right now of, of, milk, of dairy cows being milked robotically. So we have a long way to go. Um, obviously, a lot of potential here in this market. Um, and uh, that leads off to where are these robots, right? So we've got 3,500 um, in the US. And 26 states have robots right now. Um, but the concentration, for the most part, has been you know, here in the Northeast, um, through the Mid-Atlantic regions and into the Midwest, um, Pacific Northwest has, has seen some, some good concentrations. However, over the last few years, what we started to see is integration of the technology into uh, the Western states, Idaho, California, Colorado, Texas, and even starting to see some of that penetration down into the Southeast. Um, so uh, 26 states, uh, but the technology is there. All the states are, are able to have milking robots. It's just a matter of finding those markets and the potential for um, the technology to move into those states. So why did these farms, these farms milking with 3,500 uh, milking robots in the U.S., why did they choose AMS? Right? You heard from three panelists today why, what some of their reasons were. But we hear um, things around higher production. We heard that from, from a couple of the panelists today. Reduction of labor costs is a reoccurring theme. Consistency in the milking process and what that can do for utter health, right, and cow health. Um, more, frequent, more frequent milking for fresh and high producing cows. Um, I think we heard from Angie that a cow freshened the day after they started up, so she had a, a clean start with that, uh, with that cow in the milking robot. And she's hit 170 pounds, I think you said. Um, so uh, that frequent milking or increased number of milkings is going to help stimulate that milk production. Uh, interest in new technology. I think Brad made the comment. You know, he, he finds this, this technology really, really interesting. Um, so there's going to be producers and prospects out there that are going to really want to be ahead of the curve and get this technology on their farms. Combination of milk data with the activity system. Okay, that's a, that's a driving uh, force for some of these farms. Improved social life. Okay, some of you maybe.